you guys, today we're doing another video just going through things that are available at Sephora. And a couple of weeks ago, I already did this palette. In fact, I did the same packaging. So on the Hourglass website, you can choose which palette you want of three and which component that you want. And I just love this elephant. As it happens, if you don't make those selections, you can buy it already put together and this second palette comes in the elephant. This is the one that is for medium skin, and it looks like this. I'm going to post the other video right here, and my problem, as I recall with it, was there wasn't enough variation in the blush colors, and some of the powders were too light, while some of them were too dark. Now I consider myself light medium, so I can see how that palette might not work for me. I tend to err on this side of light because it seems to be a little bit safer than going medium, but these days it's <laughs> it's the luck of the draw. Every company has a different idea of what light is and what light medium is. So this one I'm hoping we'll have a little bit better luck with. Now I don't have my magnifying glass in here. I should, but I don't. But I do know a couple of things. I just can't tell you the names. These two colors right here are both finishing powders. This is a highlighter. <laughs> that is dark. And this is the bronzer and two blushes. This blush is a luminous kind of blush. There is definitely some sheen. And before I put it on the face, I'm just going to scooch in a little bit and we're going to do some swatches. I'm not going to swatch the whole thing, you guys, because I don't know the name, so it doesn't really make sense. But I want to swatch this one and this one. So this one is more peachy, and do you see that radiance going on? And this one is, well, it's a kind of a mauvey pink, and it does have, these powders all have something of a radiance, but this is sheen. I kind of hate to swatch on my arm like this because I'm afraid I'll get my uh, shirt dirty, but they're very pretty colors. And then we're going to do this one, which is the bronzer, and I think I actually have this color, and this one, which is the highlighter. Look at that shine, are you kidding? That may be a little bit too much for me, and while it looks dark in the pan, it's quite reflective. So we're going to see, you know, what's that look like on the skin? Okay, you know what, I'm going to swatch these two as well, just so we can get an idea of what they are. Hmm. So this one looks like it has a little bit of a pink undertone, but it is lighter than this one. And in some lights it might look like it's not, but it is. So maybe this is the powder that you would put under your concealer. I'm going in with my Wayne Goss which is the brush I use for finishing powder. And let's see. I really prefer not to have radiance under my eyes, but if you have hollow under eyes, you might really like that. And I'm wearing the NARS foundation today. So that's not bad. Now another thing you can do when you have two different colors for finishing powders is you take the lighter one and use it the same place you would if you were doing that um, contour highlight thing, the more drag kind, not shiny highlight, which would be lightness here and top of the cheekbone, so it's a triangle. So in a way we're just setting up for putting on the other powders. You know what? I think I'm wrong. <sighs> oh my goodness. I'm so, so sorry, you guys. I feel like, yeah, I've been prepared. I got it together. This one is the lighter one. I think this one is darker. So now we're going to go over everything with this one. Same thing. Going in with this one. Center of the forehead. So it's not going to mattify you because that's not what these powders do. They leave you a beautiful radiance that is very subtle. And then with the darker one, remember we're just 
setting up for laying down the other products, but because it's a little darker, I'm going to do the perimeter and under the cheekbone with that one. So I'm finishing with two different colors. I'm probably the only person on the planet who does not like to use a big fat brush when it comes to doing bronzer. So I use this blush brush and I think this is Suku. And we'll see. It appears to be kind of warm, but I don't think it's too warm. I think I have tried more warm. I think that's actually a good color for me, or certainly for the foundation I'm wearing today. And as I said, I think I actually have this one. I don't know. Did I just go too much? I think I went a little too much. <laughs> but it's very pretty. And it sits on the skin beautifully. And it's working with the foundation very nicely. Hey, Gracie girl. Hi. I am feeling a little beachy, I gotta say. All right, now I am going to do the blush on both sides and then I'm going to put some foundation over it because my light is different on each side and I just think it gives people a better idea of what the colors look like when they're on both sides of the face. So here we go. I'm going in with this one that is, a, ooh, that's a lot. This is Squirrel. So it's a very soft brush. I'm just gonna take excess off of my hand and do it again. It's really more like working it into the brush. And this is the one that has quite a bit of radiance in it. So wish me luck. I'm hardly touching. I'm moving first and then I'm landing on the face. Okay. Look at that sheen. I actually see the sheen more than I see the color, if that makes sense. Do you see that? I feel like if you were doing this blush, you probably don't need a highlighter. And of course, I always like to bring the blush up to the eyes so everything kind of relates. I really don't feel like I want to or need to put a highlighter on top of this. I wonder what this would look like on the eyes though. I'm going to grab a fluffy brush. This is from Rain Morris and it's not a squirrel, but it's designed to behave like a squirrel. It's synthetic. And put that on and just see. I haven't prepped my lids at all. There's a little concealer on them that I should have done something with. But I didn't. It's a pretty color on the eye. So this is one look. I want to put on a lip to give you kind of a full thing. Laura Mercier lip product. It's a pencil and I think, yeah, you do this to get it to go up. We're not going to do that. I just want to put something on the lips so they don't look naked. So I put the Emile Cordon on because I'm shooting and I tend to rub my lips together and do weird things with my mouth if my lips feel dry. So I just put that on. But I have worn this by itself without a balm underneath it a couple of times. And it's really quite pretty. It's very, very soft on the lips. And you know what? I am going to take it off and do it again because it has a, that blotted look which is so easy and carefree looking. And this color is really nice too. It's neutral, warm, but I think it can go through all seasons. Let me take that off and we're gonna do it again. Now I know NARS just came out with something, it doesn't look like this, but it's the same kind of thing where it is that blotted lip look. I really like this. I really like the whole look, you guys, but I do feel that it's a little bit um, summery. <laughs> I feel like it's summertime, and maybe that is primarily because of the bronzer color. So let me give you a little bit of a trick if you think you've gone too far. So we all know that YouTube made me buy it. Mel Thompson made me buy this and I never use it. This is a Surratt brush, and it's super expensive. I got it on sale, but still, it's 
stupid expensive and I'm just going to go in with a little bit of powder because I don't want to have 14 pounds of powder on my face but this is see all that smoky coming up it's very finely milled it's the by Terry and I just want to help myself out a little bit now the by Terry doesn't leave that kind of radiance but this brush is way too big for me to go into the palette. So I just want to go over where I put that bronzer on. Is it a little bit better? I love the look though. I really, really do. So the other palette, it just wasn't the right tone for me, but this one, I think, really, really works. That's so funny. I was fully expecting not to like this. I thought I was going to bring this back, but I really, really like it. Okay, I'm going to put some more foundation on the cheeky area and we'll do the other blush and we'll do the highlighter. <laughs> I put the hair up because I'm starting to sweat. It is, what, mid-October? I'm starting to sweat. So I'm, I'm going to go back in with this brush and just do a little bit of finishing or setting so the blush can be received. This brush I have cleaned. This is the one I use for the bronzer. And I'm going in with this more mauve kind of tone. Same thing, picks up really nicely. And this is a pretty color. Look at that. I used to do mauve pinks all the time. And then I just was, I'm over it. I don't, I don't want to do it anymore, but I do want to do it now again. And this is a lovely one because it's not too cool. I just wiped it off a little bit so I can get a pretty blend. So pretty! And there is a little bit of sheen to this as there is with all their powders. It's just not, doesn't look like a highlighter like the other blush does. Super, super pretty. Super pretty, super fresh. I'm, I'm really super delighted. And I am going to get this brush out, which is an eyeshadow brush. This is Bobbi Brown. It's probably 30 years old. Take care of your brushes, they last forever. So here we go. This will be very interesting because it feels like the base for this is just too dark. But we'll see. Just a little bit. I know me. I'm just going to be very specific and then instead of buffing with this or blending with that, do it with my fingers and just make sure there's no hard edges around it. Now that's pretty. Now this is the test, you guys. Oftentimes I put on something and I look on the side. This is very, very pretty. But when you look straight ahead, you see darkness because the base is too dark for you. And I don't think, I am I am seeing it a little bit. So here, here. The thing is, it's over my blush, so it's not that noticeable. But I do think that the base is a little bit too dark. And I like this look too. I do feel like I went a little too ham with the blush on this side, so whatever powder I have left on this brush, I'm just kind of boop, 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 so it's not quite, yeah. Super, super pretty. Super, super pretty. I like both of them, actually. So what do I think? The first palette I did was the lightest palette, and I felt that they didn't curate the colors very well for that. First of all, the blushes were too similar. Where these blushes are not too similar. I love this color. I love the other color too. It felt very summery. And this, Winter, Fall, Spring. I believe that is a song by Carole King. And I can't sing it because I'll get a strike. But you know what it is if you're my age. Um, and this color... I can't remember what I just said. So, okay, <laughs> let's, I'm gonna assume I said what was on my mind. The two powders, the two finishing powders, I like that idea a lot for two reasons. One, you could use both on your face in different areas like I did. But two, 
If you are medium but you have a different undertone or you're medium a little bit darker or a little bit lighter, one of these is probably going to work for you better than the other one. So at least you're not sitting here saying, well, I like everything but the powder doesn't work for me because there's two choices for the powder. So I like that. The bronzer, I feel very certain that this is the same bronzer that I have, that it's not a new color. And it's great. I don't like a warm bronzer. I like something a little bit cool. But when I put this on, I felt like kind of, oh, I, I look like I've been vacationing somewhere. So I like that. The highlighter is very pretty. So the highlighter right here, getting in her crate to take a nap, um, is very pretty. But I do feel the base is a little bit too dark. I do want to do a little bit on my nose, I forgot. And we'll see. I'm going to do it with an eyeshadow brush down the center of the nose. I don't do anything at the tip, but it just kind of, I feel putting a highlighter right here opens up between your eyes, makes you more alert, but maybe I shouldn't have used something so dense because it's like screaming. <laughs> Hello. Okay, a little too much, so what do we do? We're going to go in with another eyeshadow brush and go on with this powder and just go over that a little bit so it's not quite so much. I really, really like this. I think this is so much better than the lighter one. This one feels curated thoughtfully. And this lip product from Laura Mercier, I love that. Let me just do a swatch for you. It's kind of like a pinky brown. It depends on the light that you're seeing it in, I think. But it's a perfect kind of everyday color, right? I love this color and it's super, super comfortable. It's not long lasting or anything like that, but it's just a nice fresh look and I'm a fan. And you guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. Both are wins. I, I feel like I've had two videos in a row that are like, yeah, I like this stuff. Yeah, I like this stuff. So that's a good thing. It, it always feels good. Until we meet again, Whoa, I actually didn't drop anything either today, so that is also a good thing, but I'm not done yet. <laughs> so let me just say thank you for spending some time with me. I really appreciate it. I know you have many other choices out there, and I'm glad you chose me. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up, and if you haven't followed me already, consider hitting that subscribe button. I hope it was helpful. I hope you come back again. Until we meet again, be safe and smart and I'm wishing you good health.